Hi everyone, Evan Bartlett here. Today I'll be showing you an example of Eggplant's model-based approach and how it can be leveraged for testing SAP, specifically SAP S4 HANA. The purpose of this video is to display how simple it is to conduct testing in SAP with Eggplant's DAI suite. With this approach, the goal is to build a graphical representation of the application under test, or essentially its digital twin. The model consists of a number of states, which represent pages or screens on SAP, indicated by the larger purple boxes. And the smaller gray boxes are actions, which represent anything a user can interact with, whether it's clicking on a button or typing in a text field. Within each action, there is a snippet of automation code, which drives our system under tests. For example, we have a state named home screen with a number of actions such as IT service management, my home, or test suite. These actions lead to other pages or states, which in turn lead to more potential actions. The model took only around a half hour to build, and the snippets that drive the system under test are all auto-generated. So this took around another 20 minutes. So in less than an hour, I've created a digital twin of SAP HANA. With Eggplant's full Fusion Engine, we are using a completely non-invasive approach and driving our test cases solely from the UI. In this model, we interact with images and dynamic text through optical character recognition, or OCR. For example, on the login page, we are clicking on the username text field image, then hitting the tab key to type our password in the password field, then using optical character recognition so we can click the text log on. The main benefit of using Eggplant to test SAP is we aren't limiting our test efforts to one linear flow. Through machine learning algorithms, the model is making intelligent decisions in terms of which paths to test in order to optimize coverage. This way, we're exploring every single potential path or combination of paths a user can take. For example, instead of executing a test case that logs in, creates an incident, then logs out, what happens when a user logs in, creates an incident, logs out, exits the browser, then logs back in? will we then be able to validate that the incident we just created still exists? With this approach, we are not only testing what we think the user is going to do, but also everything the user may do. Using Eggplant DAI will mitigate risk by optimizing your SAP testing coverage.